Recently, our global government instigated an information program on the global national network to explain specific parts of our new world order mandates to help those who might not understand fully, the reasons for why we use the number 666. The following program helps to explain this information and we hope that by watching this program, you will be able to explain these facts to your own family. From your children to your aging grandparents, this program will help you grasp the basics about this ongoing improvement to our civilized world around us. It is also a requirement that you watch this on a daily basis, to repetitively keep certain facts instilled in your minds in the likely event it becomes necessary that you educate others who will be indoctrinated into our zone in the foreseeable future. So please watch this as often as you can, as you can. To begin, let us understand that for a unified globe to work as one, we must all be assigned specific identifying information about our specific regions of the world where we live. As you may remember, when Barack Hussein Obama was made our global leader after the overthrow of the United States government, he mandated that all regions of the world be made specific zones and each area was made a number. The North American continent was the first region or zone to be assigned a number six, which encompassed the former United States, Canada, Mexico, all of South America and the outlining areas that make up the entire continent. Shortly thereafter, the global United National Zones of the world were assigned a similar number six, encompassing all of the European countries that did make up the European Union. It was then consolidated with the Middle Eastern Zones and the Federation of Russia. All Asian nations were consolidated with those continents that had not been unified with the nations already a part of the One World Global Government. Thus, three sets of six were specifically mandated to represent certain geographic zones of the world and could be relatively unified together. It was a mastermind achievement of Barack Hussein Obama, that he was able to somehow unify all these totally different cultures into one global unified society. Each nation adhered to Obama's every command, it was almost supernatural that he was able to do this, but, he did. As we have been told, the world suffered an unimaginable catastrophic event, which even now our historians tell us was a natural disaster of unparalleled magnitude. It resulted in the loss of billions of people all over the world, which even now can't be totally explained. Most scientists say this catastrophe was a possible meteor impact that caused the total disappearance of millions of people all over the world at the same time, that the impact of this meteor produced such unmeasurable amounts of radiation, that some were overcome by it and either died outright or disappeared like what happened during the atomic bomb dropping on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. It was that radiation exposure that, most believe, caused millions to disappear, but, that was never proven. Whatever did happen, it was that event that gave our global leader the opportunity he needed to show his superior power to endure and overcome this calamity and bring our world together in unity, thus creating the greatness that still exists today. It might seem completely ludicrous to think that each zone of the world could be the same number, but, a prefix was also used to consolidate these zones and thus, it all was combined together so that all parts of the world would be identified now as simply 666. The prefix we mentioned isn't actually listed on any of your global government literature you receive daily, but it is there, but in an invisible way. Do you remember when our global leader, Barack Hussein Obama, took possession of the nation of Israel and took residence in Jerusalem? By some supernatural way, he actually was able to create a likeness of himself that literally came to life. It was astounding, it moves, and breathes like a human, but, it isn't at all. This invisible power he has is the underlining fact behind our global system we use today. Though rumors have circulated over the years that our great leader has been using unethical, if not inhumane procedures to maintain control over the world populace. These are only rumors and should not be taken seriously. 
This kind of false news was so successfully used by our socialist comrades during those years, long ago, when they harassed and put down former President Donald Trump. He was the last real president who tried to bring back the idea that freedom could be an obtainable treasure again, but it was just a dream like any other. It is that same socialist regime that now encompasses our new world order that helped to prove to the world that socialism worked and still does. It controlled all the populations of the world and not once, did a coup ever erupt anywhere in the world. Our great leader did so much to control the masses and still does to this day. Outstanding to know that he still has what it takes to control our ever worsening world around us. Many people complain even now that they have no freedom, no rights. Whether that be relative to the issue or not, you are much happy now aren't you? With your legal marijuana, your legal heroin, your legal crack, now you have the euthanasia you always wanted. Now your children are complacent, as are you. Don't knock it, try it, and live in com details today of the full list of crimes confessed by the traitors Jones and Rutherford. These atrocious acts of treachery include the embezzlement of party funds, the murder of many trusted party members, immoral relations with women of the party, and collaboration with the leader of the underground, the arch traitor Calador. Home with me. I was about to write an article on the grammar of newspeak. Bring it to the screen and open it. Long live Big Brother!
go. I say go away. You bother me.